weekend may have saved your season? I don't think that's an overstatement at all. Um, you know, it's good to see our defense finally play for 60 minutes. It's good to see our goaltenders really step up to the plate. And uh, the offense did a great job in the first half of giving us a lead. It's got to feel good to get another victory here at home and been quite a while. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, you know, we talked about that beforehand. It's uh, completely unacceptable what our record at home is, and uh, we want to change it. We want to win every game uh, at home, and, you know, we haven't done a good job of that this year. And tonight, uh, we did a really good job of maintaining our, our, our composure when we were going through the penalties in the first half and even in the second half. So, very happy on an all around effort by the boys. Pretty good power play this weekend, too. Great power play this weekend. Uh, the guys are really, uh, you know, really hitting on, on all the cylinders. Uh, and it's not just one guy. You know, we're moving the ball around. Other guys are getting opportunities, and it's great to see JT get a couple on the power play. Milestone for JT. He's been around a whole lot. He's a whole <laughs> bunch of milestones. Every time he scores a point, it's a milestone. Um, so, you know, we all we all understand who he is and what he is, but we also understand that we have to help him, that he's not as young as he was, that he's not the player that he was, but he's still a great scorer. And if we can give him the opportunities that we gave him tonight, he's going to put the ball in the net. And uh, that's what we want to do as a team is help him. He seemed, be, he seemed to be moving faster than he has all season when he came off the bench for that uh, for that goal. I, I know his eyes were bigger than any any time I've seen him this year. Uh, you know, he was pretty excited to get out there. And, and it's been a long time since we got easy goals like that. And uh, you know, to, to outrun a team that, that you know came in expecting to outrun us, it's pretty special. It shows that we were really smart tonight, and, and we uh, fast we fast broke them better than they did us. So uh, that, that's a big accomplishment for for an old slow team. Does this weekend, Darius, may have make your decision about the trading deadline a little different that uh, perhaps you know you might not break things up that you're just you know that yeah. they've showed you something oh we were right on the we were right on the precipice of uh, breaking this whole thing up uh, you know I mean we, we have a pretty big uh, salary um, you know as a team and you know, if guys aren't going to live up to that then we might as well if we're going to lose we might as well lose with cheap players anyways at least we have an excuse then um, but you know I, we, we talked about that on Tuesday like this was a tryout weekend dude. and the, the guys that wanted to, to make this team will stay on this team and the guys that didn't then you know we would have made some changes but I think everybody stepped up to the plate and I know when Tommy and, and Roger get back into the get back in the lineup they're going to do a great job for us and, and they definitely will get another shot. And speaking of, you know, you talk about players trying out. Jimmy Purvis seems like he's been playing pretty solid since he came back into the lineup last weekend against Rochester. Yeah, you know, he didn't really like going down to the practice squad, but, uh, you know, I thought at that point in time he needed a wake-up call. He's a young player and he got a little complacent. And, uh, you know, since then he stepped up and he's done everything we asked him. He's playing like he did the first two games, and, and we need that out of every player. Mike, he gave you a boost last night. What did you make of his game time? thought he was great. thought he was great. You know, I thought uh, the shots that he seen when, when we weren't screaming him, screening him, I thought he uh, did a great job. Seen the ball well. and seemed like he was all over every shot. Are, uh, are there any injuries with Vice, Montour, and, and Lord? No, no, that was uh, coach's decision. Uh, Jay Thornbert obviously was hurt tonight. I don't think he played uh, halfway through the third and the fourth. Um, so obviously one of them guys are going to be getting back in the lineup, and hopefully they can do uh, as good a job as uh, Jay was doing for us. Do you think you were a little, showed any signs of tiredness in the second half, or was they just executed better, or just? I think we, I think we, we had a lead and, and we wanted to sit on it, um, which is always dangerous, you know. In football, they call it to prevent the win, you know, and, and that's what we went into. We went into a shell. We tried to control the game a little too much. We, you know, you still have to be aggressive in, in terms of how you play, and we got non-aggressive and they got aggressive. So, uh, you know, I thought we did a good job in the fourth quarter of turning that, uh, uh, you know, aggressiveness around, and we got a couple of, a couple of goals off the bench, and uh, Jeremy Thompson got his first goal, so that was good to see. Seems like there was a, a number of bounces going your way tonight. The the freakish goal off the post that got Purvis coming out of the box. Uh, a couple other ones, you know, off the goalie uh, at late shot clock, out of play for the possession. We weren't working hard enough to get those breaks early in the season. Uh, you know, hard work is rewarded. Uh, you know, we talk about the lacrosse gods all the time, and we truly believe in it. If you work hard enough, the lacrosse gods will reward you. And we weren't we weren't working hard enough to draw penalties to get to get the breaks, and now we are. So, um, you know, we make no apologies because there are certainly a lot of breaks that went against us in the first half of the season. Uh, one thing I do want to say is, uh, you know, one thing on Mark Steinhaus is uh, I can't speak enough as to the change in his game that, that he's made this year and the sacrifices he's made. When Jay Thornbert went down, we took him out the front door and made him run out the back door and transition up. And first thing he does is go out there and play the two-on-one and uh, got Buchanan a goal that sort of turned the game back into our favor. So uh, Mark Steinhaus is, is just being an unbelievable player. I know everybody's talking about his numbers being down. But we're not asking him for numbers this year. We're asking him to fill every hole that's available because he can do that as a player. And he's done a great job of that, and I, I can't speak enough in, in, in how much John, or, I mean, uh, Mark Steenhouse has helped his team this year.